Now, of course, comes the real test. I put in that HTML encoding, will it work? So we're gonna try it here using the same tag that I did to break out of this attribute last time and create a cross-site scripting attack. And I'm also gonna put in just a few other characters just so you can see what happens to them too. As you can see, all of them are successfully displayed in the browser. Down here at the bottom, I could not break out of this input tag. I could not, this script tag is not executed. It's simply considered as text. Up here at the top of the screen, the same thing has occurred. And if we look at the source, you're gonna see why. Over here, you can clearly see that the input was successfully encoded before being displayed in the output. The greater than and less than signs, the quotes, the dashes, everything. Down at the bottom, you can see that the same thing happened inside the value attribute of the input tag.